Jane, ¿dónde estabas? Yo, que que estaba tenés, en el baño. Recuerda que tenemos que hacer la Well, my friends, uh, I'm out of the camera. We're here and we have her uh, in front of the camera again. Again, she's going to identify herself and she's going to tell us why, why she's running for the pageant that she's running. My dear, again, why, what is your name and what is the name of the pageant that you're running for? My name's Ashley Sweeter. I'm running for the Mrs. Florida pageant uh, in spring of 2024. Fantastic. Ashley, um, I see that you are, are a fit person. How important is nutrition for you? Nutrition is very important. Not only is um, nutrition the base um, of a health, heart healthy diet, um, also goes hand in hand with working out, which is something that I absolutely love to do. It's something that my family shares, um, but we're always cooking in the kitchen, um, working out, trying to get some exercise outside, but uh, both are very important in my life. What would be something that you like to cook in your home? Um, we like to take uh, just really family staples like meatloaf or fried chicken and try and make them healthier. It's, it's something fun that we do as a family in the kitchen. We all learn together. Uh, one of the probably the most fun and, and best tasting meals that we, we make as a family would be uh, meatloaf and mashed potatoes um, that we've kind of converted into a lower fat and more heart healthy option. Okay, let's let, let's let's uh, investigate a little bit more on that meatloaf. Meatloaf, is, yes, you're right. It's a comfort food. How do you make it a little bit more healthier? So for meatloaf, I have two options. I can make it vegan, um, or I can make it uh, based on lean meat. So I do make leaner meat. I use about a 96% uh, beef-based meat. Um, at that point, I try and hide vegetables. That's one thing. Uh, for those of you who have toddlers know, it's very difficult sometimes to get them to eat their vegetables. Um, I do like to hide them in things like mashed potatoes or meat. Um, so I do finely chop vegetables, whether it's cauliflower, broccoli, um, and also mushrooms is something big. Um, so once I finely chop those, I mix them into the lean meat. Um, what the vegetables do is it, it creates, because um, sometimes lean meat can be dry at times, um, so what it does is it helps retain the moisture and the water within the meatloaf. Um, one of the best options would be mushrooms. So when you finally chop the mushrooms and you bake the mushrooms, obviously with your spices, um, it helps to create that moisture. So when you do bake it and it's complete, um, you're cutting it open and you get that really nice steam and that soft, um, savory meatloaf. Um, and it's not as dry as if you um, would just bake it like you would a standard meatloaf. How important would you consider in your lifestyle um, exercise, eating right, why? What, 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 what motivates you every day? Something that motivates me every day, so as somebody with autism, an adult with autism, um, growing up it was difficult for me to focus 100%. I always struggled, I was always very shy. Um, very socially awkward, as you can tell. I'm <laughs> not the best behind a camera. Um, but I really tried to learn, and a lot of the research I did was um, having a good, healthy diet is something that really helps with brain fog. It helps with focus, attention, um, and that goes hand in hand with working out. I also, um, as somebody with autism, had a lot of energy growing up. So something my parents tried to do is which I love them for, is they never held me back. Instead of holding me back, they really pushed me just to get my energy out. And that was through dance or gymnastics um, or playing outside. And those were ways where I could expend my energy appropriately. Fun, also learning. Um, so definitely fitness and healthy diet is something that is very important in my household. It also brings us closer together. Family being number one, especially in, a, in an age where social media is so prevalent and we don't socialize as much. That's something that I really try and make um, personal in my life. We try and do as many things as we can together. On a Saturday afternoon, we're on the computer. Uh, TV's not on. We're either cooking in the kitchen or we're outside swimming. Um, we're doing as many activities as we can together. That is good. You've also said that you, you're physically fit. Why? What would you say to these young girls or ladies that wanna that that they, you know, they they body shame themselves. That's the that's the kind yeah. of expression. What would you tell these ladies? I can tell you that I was one of them. Um, the, the, the biggest hurdle I've overcome is I was always told that I was too tall um, as a female growing up in school. Um, and you know what, what I would tell you as a, as a young female, um, who cares? Be you. Be your own person. Um, you have whatever you want to do is what you're going to do. Whatever you tell yourself you're going to be is what you're going to be. So be yourself, be you, don't try and change for anybody else. You were made the way you are, and you know what, you're perfect. 
Now there's other things I like to do, health and exercise, um, but at the end of the day, what I, if I could tell anything to my future daughter right now, it's love yourself for who you are. And if people don't like that, at the end of the day, that's part of being an adult, is there's certain times where you may have to walk away, but look in the mirror and understand who you are. And we all have flaws, nobody's perfect. That's what makes you human, and that's okay. And that's what makes you different. Do you, in your lifetime, how have you dealt with fear? Um, fear, uh, probably being in the workplace is something that I most feared, being in front of people, doing speeches, um, things in that nature. Um, I actually found a Japanese study that they do on a yearly basis. Well, something that they do is um, once a year they try and put themselves in a difficult situation, a scary situation, and really just push themselves to do something different. Um, that's something I try and do. Each year I pick one thing that makes me scared or nervous. Whether it's speaking in front of people, whether it's getting behind a camera, um, jumping off a cliff, right, skydiving, it could be something like that. And I just try and push myself. Um, it helps gain confidence and it also continuously helps myself learn and really pushes me outside my boundaries. Fantastic answer. Now, La Jesse's Lash Studios, how, how has this friendship impacted you? Yes, he's an amazing person. For those of you who don't know, um, yes, he is a mother of three, has opened her own business, has built it from the ground up. For those of you who have children, you know how difficult that can be. Um, so being a mother of three and building your business from the ground up, but doing it in a way where you're empowering women, um, yes, yes, he does lashes and she does things that people um, would say would make you look more beautiful. At the end of the day, yes, he's somebody who's gonna empower you and tell you that um, you are beautiful for who you are. She's a great person, a great human being. Um, she's been a great friend that I have. Um, I, I'm so lucky to have met her. We've been friends for about five years. She's been with me through my pregnancy. She's been with me um, through ups and through downs. Um, just overall, she, she's a great human being. What is the lesson that you would like to project to future generations? Um, be kind. At the end of the day, everybody's different. As somebody with autism, I, I can't say enough um, social interactions are something I've struggled so much throughout my life. I've always turned around and said, did I make the right impression? Um, you know, did I say the right thing? Just be kind. If you're, if you're in a situation and you think a certain way or maybe you met somebody and you're not sure about how they feel about you, let's open up dialogue. Talk about it. If you don't like a situation or maybe a conversation made you feel, you know, a different way or made you angry or frustrated, um, I think as a, a community that we need to start opening up dialogue as we're behind cell phones and computers all day. Um, I feel like we've stopped talking as much as we used to. So definitely for future generations, um, continue talking. That face-to-face -face interaction, that social interaction, it's so important. Jesse, I'm very, uh, I mean, Ashley, I'm so, ha I'm so happy that you are uh, here and you're doing this interview. What would you like to learn? What is something that you would like to learn? So I think pushing myself um, beyond what I think I can accomplish is always a great thing because I'm always trying to learn. Um, some of these women that are in this pageant are absolutely amazing. You have people, people like Yessie who have been able to build just a, a, a great empire of a business, right? So I'd love to learn from women like this who are so confident. Um, they're just great, amazing people and I would love to learn the confidence. Um, the, the part of the beauty industry, right? Um, and also some of the financial stability that a lot of these women have built. I currently work for a company, an amazing company. Very happy to do that, but I would definitely like to learn how to be um, some of the companies in the entrepreneurship that these women exhibit. I think those are great tra traits to learn, especially as a female. Thank you so much, Ashley, for being with us. Thank you so much for being on my show, and you have a very positive day. Thank you. Bueno, mi gente, yo soy DJ Raja Tabla, el que nunca te habla baba este remix del show. I'm here with Megan and Imani. How you doing, girls? Thank we're you. here in the ranch. It's springtime in Florida. So we're having a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be trying to do some festivals from this same platform. And the girls are really excited because we're going to be doing some really cool stuff with them and for them in promoting them. So, Megan, how long have you been a, a model? Um, I've been modeling since I was like 16 and I am 28 right now, so, so cool. a good amount so, of time. Good, 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 good. And uh, what do you like about modeling? Uh, what I like about modeling is it's a way to kind of like express yourself and really get out of your comfort zone and you're the main character. That is good. And you're also for uh, empowering women to be able to do whatever they, they, they can do. If they set their mind to it, they could achieve great things, right Megan? Yes, I believe with the right mindset you can achieve anything you want in life. And Imani, how long have you been modeling? I've only been modeling for four years, okay. but I've been doing like with major music videos with Tory Lanez, Sean Kingston, etc. 
Oh, good. And what do you like about uh, doing that uh, type of work? I agree with what Megan said. It gives you like a chance to express yourself and, you know, get your little solo content in. <laughs> good. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, guys, thank you very much for being part of this show. And we're going to be right back. So <laughs> stay tuned. Remix El Show. Say, see you in a little while. Bueno, mi gente, yo soy DJ Raja Tabla. Aquí estamos en Kisimi con la... China. Exactamente. Y nos están cayendo unas gotitas, así que vamos a hacer eso very, very fast, porque está lloviendo. Anyway, estamos aquí en Remix El Show y China, las, hasta las gotas de Dios son, son una bendición. <risa> son una bendición. Y si eso es así, mira, pues que me moje toda. Exactamente. Así que nos vamos a cambiar de lugar. Nos vemos en un ratito. Este es Remix El Show. Chao, que nos vamos a mojar. Bueno, mi gente, yo soy DJ Rajatable y estamos aquí con una belleza que también está en los medios. Así que si tú estás debajo de las piedras, ella se va a identificar. Mi amor, ¿cómo tú te llamas y dónde trabajas? Bueno, mi nombre es Vanessa Enchaute, y la Enchaute y en las redes sociales y trabajo para el programa de Todo un Poco TV con Mario Herrero. Fantástico. Mi corazón, ¿qué te parece esta premier de esta película Melt on This? Excelente. La primera vez que tengo la oportunidad de venir a una y disfrutarla. Excelente porque veo que está de alguna manera le están abriendo el paso a la, a la película independiente y para nosotros eh, poder tener un puente para nosotros poder llegar a ello. Nosotros, y eso es muy, muy importante mi amiga porque lo que pasa es que aquí en Central Florida hay un talento pero brutal, brutal, brutal y tanto de habla inglesa como de habla española. Ahora, Desertland Park, este lugar tan hermoso que se ha prestado, ¿verdad? Dime, es un lugar familiar, es un lugar, es un lugar donde... El lugar es excelente. Este, hay espacio, mira, hay, si, para la gente que no han venido, hay carros que han estado en películas. Brutales, yo estoy enamorada de los carros hasta para hacer una foto. Eso es así, para hacer unas fotos brutales. Mi amor, ¿y, ¿y cuán importante es invitar a los comerciantes a que participen e inviertan en el cine inter, 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 independiente? Es una excelente oportunidad para nosotros los latinos porque de, de, de María para acá esto está por lo poblado de nosotros. Eh, creo que lo, lo, o, los medios de comunicación somos responsables de llevarle a ellos la comunicación necesaria para que el, el, los comerciantes puedan hacer un llamado, invertir dinero en esto. Exactamente. Es un proyecto que está empezando a abrirse puertas aquí en Central Florida. Eso es así. Así que seguimos aquí. Yo soy DJ Raja Tabla, el que no... Espérate, 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 espérate. ¿Tú me dijiste que íbamos a ir a tomar unas piñas coladas? Eso mismo, por eso que estoy cortando. Mira, mira, por aquí está pasando toda la información sobre todos los detalles de, de film independiente en inglés, en español. Si se quieren contactar conmigo, también los medios sociales de ella también van a estar en description. Así que, espérate, pégate, espérate. 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 Búsqueme en las redes sociales, señores. Facebook, Vanessa en Chautegui, Instagram en Chautegui PR. Besitos. Nos vamos a beber una piña colada. Nos vemos. Bye. Bueno, Esperanza, yo quiero hacerte una pregunta. ¿Qué piensas tú que puedes llegar a lograr en los próximos certámenes que vas a participar? Bueno, Jessy, mira, este, independientemente de lo que yo, donde el puesto que yo ubique o que yo tenga en cualquier certamen o en cualquier parte de, en cualquier posición donde yo esté en mi vida, lo único que quiero proyectar es firmeza, quiero proyectar que nosotros tenemos valores, que nosotras, este, las mujeres, tenemos ilusiones, tenemos sueños y aparte de eso la confianza entre, noso en, de, de, entre nosotras mismas porque Mira, nosotras somos señoras, entonces, pues nada, quiero demostrarle a esas niñas que el sueño no termina allí. De que tenemos 20 años de jovencitas y ya no, ya pasó mi tiempo, ese no es, ese es el tiempo pasado, pero ahora en adelante tenemos mucho más que dar. Eso es lo que yo quiero reflejar, independientemente de la posición que esté o donde quiera que yo esté, quiero siempre reflejar la firmeza y la confianza entre nosotras las mujeres. Bueno, Esperanza, y dime, ¿a dónde quieres tú llegar? ¿Cuál es la cima donde tú quieres alcanzar a través de estos certámenes? Sí, mira, yo no sé exactamente dónde voy a estar en el futuro, pero sí quiero dar un buen ejemplo, eh, sobre todo a nuestros hijos, a nuestra comunidad, a, a, a las mujeres. Quiero darles siempre ese buen ejemplo porque yo soy una mujer luchadora, trabajadora, constante, y eso es lo que yo quiero reflejarles o, de, o dejar el mensaje. Yo realmente en cuatro o cinco años o el tiempo que sea, porque el tiempo de Dios es perfecto, lo único que quiero es 
trabajar y demostrarle disciplina y constancia a mis hijos. Eso es lo que yo quiero, lo que yo quiero dejar, el legado que yo quiero dejar. Y bueno, donde Dios me quiera poner, allí voy a estar. Bueno, mi gente, yo soy DJ Rajatán. Aquí tengo a, a Jazz Marie, que es una de las nuevas hosts de Remix en Show Jazz. ¿Cómo está? Dile hello a la gente. A los miles, los miles. Ella es un poquito shy, así que este, estamos estrenándola en cuestiones de modelaje. Estamos haciendo un photo shoot. Pero mira quién yo tengo aquí. Está la, está la reina de corazón. Aquí está no, ella. No, no. La killer está aquí. A mi amor, tanto tiempo hace el COVID. Nos ha tenido separados bien brutal como tú has estado. Y ¿Qué, ha, ¿Qué ha pasado? Mira, hemos estado súper bien, de verdad, gracias por el apoyo siempre que, que me da, ¿verdad? Llevamos tanto tiempo sin vernos ahí separaditos por, por la pandemia que estamos pasando ahora, pero mira, venimos más que nunca este 2021 con nuevos proyectos y bien bendecida siempre. Eso es bueno. Y Aquiles, tú terminaste ahora un video de, un, de uno de tus temas musicales, ¿cuál es? Sí, mira, estamos trabajando ahora, dándole bien fuerte la promoción de Pegate a la Pared, nuevo video que está en YouTube, en SoundCloud, en toda la plataforma, así que ve a buscarlo, la gira el Pegate a la Pared. Eso es así, hasta Chasmarí se pegó a la pared, sí. no sé cómo rayo, Oye, pero se pegó, tenemos, se pegó de la pared, así que vamos para allá. Tenemos, Ella se a, está la modelo, tenemos a la modelo de este, Yasmari Camacho también en el video, así que... Salen pares de escena ahí. Eso está bueno. Así que na nada más ella está estrenando como, como host de Remix el Show y como modelo, pero también como actriz en video. En video. Así que vamos a contratarlos a ella para que te cante, a ella para que esté en los videos. Y seguimos aquí en Remix el Show, el show que está más pegado que el arroz con gandules, homofongo con carne frita <risa> y para aquellos que lo quieran dañar con ketchup. Así que no se quejen. Venimos ahora con más de la Killer. Sigan aquí en sintonía de Remix el Show. Remember to hit subscribe and share. Well, girls, what's going on then? You call me over here in the middle of the farm. What's up? What's going on? Just looking for some food to eat. I'm extra hungry right now. You are. But I don't really see anything appetizing unless they want us to eat the leaves. But I don't know. I'm not really an herbivore, per se, <laughs> more of a carnivore, but I don't know. Damn, girl, did you go to college? Because what's a herbivore? What? <laughs> Herba what? What the hell is that? Like eating leaves? Nah, I know. Anyway, you like chicken? Yes, I love chicken. And orzo? Come on, let's go. So we gotta follow around here and go around here. Get this side here. Come on over here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bueno mi gente, yo soy DJ Rajatabla aquí con Samantha tomándole una fotografía porque estamos haciendo el, la, 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 la foto del set ese que donde van a estar todas las muchachas Sama metidas y va a costar 20 pesos, así que ella está también aquí. So my dear Sam, um, uh, how long have you been uh, interested in modeling and photography? I've been interested in modeling since about the age of nine. All right. um, my parents kind of put up old pageant photos and I was like, wow, I didn't know I could actually do that. But I took classes and here we are today. Yes, um, yes. As far as photography, I actually took it up in middle school. I wanted to take my friend's senior photos. That's kind of how it all started. Good, good, good. So she's part of the, the, the Remix show and also uh, Bilingual Broadcasting Network and Summer Productions. Check her out. Give a good comment. Again, if you do give a good comment, you'll go in for a contest to win either Bohemia tickets or uh, exclusive showings of Remix the Show, um, Carnival Cruises, where we're going to be doing either a uh, casino, one day casino, go out for a couple of hours, come back and enjoy uh, seeing a taping of Remix the Show, talking with her girls asking for their autographs or um you know like her she has her own business booking photography so why wouldn't you want to book her so you know anyway uh how do you like to shoot with the pool and everything like that this is our million dollar pool so we do have one in the summer so yes so how's everything with uh he makes our show the photographs and everything everything to your like everything's going really well everyone's really nice over here i have no problems at all and it's amazing weather oh yes it is even though it's been spring Cling on and off, but it's nice. Anyway, pool weather. Take care. See you. See these next videos. Remember, what's up? 321-439-8218. Make sure you check it out. Send us your videos. Send us your crazy memos and memes, and we'll put them in. All right, come on, girl. Come on over here. Bueno, mi gente, aquí estamos en los mismos awards. Y esta jovencita se va a presentar y nos va a decir qué qué award acaba de ganar. Mi amor, gracias por estar en Remix el Show. Yo soy DJ Rajatabla. ¿Cuál es tu nombre y qué categoría acabas de ganar? 
Mi nombre es Chalis y acabo de ganar la categoría de artista en ascenso. Fantástico. ¿Cómo de importante es para, para una actriz y una, una cantante como tú estos premios y ser aplaudida por tus fanáticos? Se siente muy en la madre porque sé que estoy haciendo las cosas bien, eso me deja saber que estoy trabajando fuerte y que está dando frutos. Exactamente. ¿Y dónde la gente puede buscar tu música? Chalis.pr, Chalis en YouTube, Chalis.pr en la otra plataforma. ¿Y de qué parte de Puerto Rico? De Cagua. ¡Epa! Bueno, dicen que Ponce, Ponce y Cagua. Bueno, no sé. Ok, anyway, anyway. Felicidades, mi amor. Muchísimas gracias. Necesitamos más juventud como tú que, que eche para adelante sus expresiones creativas. Otra vez, dile, dile a la gente cómo pueden obtener tu música. Mi música pueden obtenerla como Chalis en YouTube y en todas las plataformas y en las redes sociales chalis.pr. Bueno, la fiesta continúa aquí, así que vamos a seguir entrevistando. ¡Adiós! Yo soy DJ Radatabla. Como todo lo bueno tiene que terminar, pero nunca se termine porque la semana que viene tenemos otros capítulos de Remix el Show. This is DJ Radatabla saying thank you very much for being in the show. Imani, you had some fun today in the show? Yes. Yes, we had a lot of fun. We're going to be doing some more skits and stuff, comedy skits later in the next week's show. And uh, uh, show off her chops in front of the camera as well as Megan's also and be in the lookout because there may be very good things coming down the pipeline for both Imani and Megan here in Remix and Show so you gotta be in the lookout make sure you subscribe BBN Info is the code for Facebook Twitter Instagram and even YouTube and you'll see all the videos all the shows all the episodes you'll never miss and skip a beat and if you want to donate to make sure that we have money to be able to pay the girls hey the cash app is showing right here so make sure you don't walk with your elbows get some money you know uh, you know take an airplane do something anyway uh imani i have a boat why don't we go to the the lake and take out the boat oh. see you bye come on we're going this way bye bye, bye.